This is the story of the original woman scorned, Betty Broderick. Betty met her husband, Dan Broderick, when they were still in university. They got married and she got pregnant soon afterwards. So she had to stop her education, stayed at home and worked to look after her children. She had four in the end and to help Dan through his education. Dan was studying to become a medical doctor. When Dan finished his degree, he decided to go back to school to study, to become a lawyer. So that was four more years. And all that time, Betty was working, looking after the kids, just to help the kids in their home and help him through his education. She believed that when he finished, it would all pay off. They would have a better life. And he did finish. He became a lawyer for medical malpractice, suing bad doctors. But just soon after that, he finished. He got a great job, worked a few years, and then he opened his own law practice. And it was a very successful one. Before you knew it, he was a millionaire. But he was different. He was not the same man that Betty knew. He was never home. He was always out with his friends. And soon he hired a new lady to work at the firm. It was a young girl, 21-year-old girl, called Linda Colkenna. She had been a flight attendant, but now she was hired as a receptionist. And because Betty kept hearing Dan's friends mention Linda, she started suspecting something going on. So she started to investigate and suspected that there was a relationship going on, an affair. When she confronted Dan, he refused. He denied it. He said it was not true and that she was crazy. But he had changed at home. Nothing was ever the same again. He was not happy to even be at home. They were always fighting and he was always away. Once on his birthday, she went to surprise him at his office. He had been gone away with Linda called Kenna, celebrating. And when she kept pushing him to fire Linda, he instead moved out of the house and filed for divorce against her. Dan finally admitted that he had been having an affair with Linda for three years and then he moved in with her. When he filed for divorce, she got so angry and it was a bitter divorce. They were back and forth, but she couldn't get anything her way because Dan was a very successful lawyer and most of the lawyers were on his side anyway. So she was not getting the help she wanted. She was getting angrier and more crazier by the day. The divorce was final and Dan managed to have custody of all the kids. So she lost her kids. She lost her husband. She lost everything basically. And just soon after the divorce, her husband married Linda. He actually married this girl, which she didn't believe would happen. And when that happened, she went so crazy. She could not believe it. To make it worse, Linda taunted Betty and laughed about her age. Betty bought a gun and started practicing how to shoot. On the night of 5th of November 1989, she took a key for Dan's house from the purse of her daughter and drove there. Betty entered Linda and Dan's house in the night, went to their bedroom and shot them both to death. What do you think?